Peace and balance, everyone. Welcome to all my royals, all my emperors and empresses. To anyone new here, welcome. You're in the right place. Um, if you haven't already done so, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to it to be notified. Make sure you click on all so that way you'll know when I'm having a live chat or um, just putting out another video. Like this is a super late video, something I usually never do, but I'm not going to take up a whole lot of time. I'm going to keep it kind of short and concise because a lot of people like myself, um, our attention spans are short and I decided to kind of just keep the videos down a little bit as far as timing and again it is late so I just wanted to just do a recap on 2019 kind of talk about how things have been physically mentally and spiritually as far as growth as far as you know evolving as far as um, anything that's declined or anything like that you know mostly things of growth but you know there are some things that have gone down a little bit so take a moment chill with me and see how this year has gone okay and of course I have lucky Osiris next to me ready to be in the video but he's only gonna get a minute today because again this is gonna be a short video okay I've done this probably two other times um, Somebody from my channel wanted me to talk about physical, mental, and spiritual health. My physical, mental, and spiritual health. How things have been since I became a freeform dreadlock or since I started my dread journey, period. Which, if you're new to this channel, is October made 16 years. So now it's been 16 years and two months. Uh, to those who don't know me, and again, it's your first time. I am a licensed cosmetologist been licensed since 1988. I'm retired. I no longer stand behind a chair, but I like to come and shoot videos and talk to people about natural hair care, mostly about uh, freeform dreads or dreadlocks or just natural hair period. You know, I don't get off into relaxers and talking about stuff like that. I'll talk about, you know, what I've been about for the past 16 years and two months. Okay. So let's, let's go over physical. Physically, this year has been a great year. Well, didn't start off great. Had some issues, had some changes, um, dealing with um, medications, dealing with, you know, being weaned off medications and stuff that I needed for anxiety, depression, panic attacks, and such. The great news is I'm off all the medications. One of the medications I was on with Seroquel and it raised my triglycerides up very high for those who know what triglycerides is is something that's dealing with your cholesterol and it can cause you to have a heart attack or a stroke if your triglycerides are extremely high I found out that um, mine were incredibly high and I worked this year to not take any meds for it but to go ahead and just change a few things in my diet to and also include exercise to go ahead and bring my triglycerides down to a normal level which I achieved in less than what four months out I would say I think I got the information in July July 8th I want to say and by November 6th July August September so four months by November 6th I found out that everything was down everything was low everything was well where it should be or or lower so that was that was a great thing physically um let's see physically oh in doing so i mean most people already know for but for, i'm talking to those who don't know for since i was 18 i stopped eating beef or pork three years ago i stopped eating chicken or fish 15 years ago i hadn't I stopped eating rice, pasta, and potatoes. So going ahead and going that extra step three years ago to um, let go of eggs, cheese, that was just like the final you know, nail in the coffin. And then again, this year I, I went ahead and, and dropped any forms of like bread. So I no longer consume bread. <clears throat> um, I believe that that's when I really started seeing 
like a tremendous amount of difference when I started using food as medicine and not as like a fulfillment. You know, I started adding um, beans and mushrooms and all types of things to my diet, things that I wasn't eating, even though I was, you know, doing this whole vegan thing, I still wasn't into eating like a lot of different beans and stuff. I needed more fiber in my diet and I wasn't getting it at first. So that's what I really, you know, did. And that lowered my cholesterol tremendously. I started looking up a lot of different things to find out what can I do to lower my cholesterol without this medication that these people are trying to put me on. Because if I just got off of all these, these other medications, you know, for mental health or whatever, you know, to stay stable, then surely I could beat this. You know what I'm saying? And again, I was weaned off of the me the medications. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below or send me a question. A lot of my information is in the description box and you can send me private questions or so or what have you. <sighs> Let's see, two years in a row, I had pneumonia. So I developed bronchial asthma the first time I had it when I was 25. So I had pneumonia three times. But two years in a row, recently, back to back, I've had pneumonia. So bronchitis, it has my breathing off. It was really, really bad. You know, I can't catch a common cold or whatever without having like breathing problems or so. Um, so no, it wasn't because of my weight. It wasn't because of that. It was because I had pneumonia uh, twice, you know, and I'm just grateful to be here. You know, again, eating to live, putting food in my body that I don't necessarily like, but know that it's good for me. My Sunday chats have helped me out tremendously with this. You know, we have a lot of people that come in on Sundays. And if you're able to, you know, come in on a Sunday, it's at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We talk about nutrition, we talk about we talk about hair, we talk about a lot of different things. We just try to keep it a negative free zone so that we're not talking about politics, religion, race, you know, sex, stuff like that. And we use no profanity. We just try to keep it a peaceful place for a couple hours so that everybody can sit back and enjoy and have a good time. Okay. So yeah, on a good thing, on a good level. Or a good note, I lost weight. I got my health back together. I feel better. I have more energy. Um, on the downside, I need to go to the eye doctor. My vision has been declining, 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 like gradually since I was 40. I'll be 50 by the grace. <sighs> in June. I'll be 50 in June. I will be 50 in June. And my, my eyes are, my eyesight, my vision is horrible. That's why most of the times you will see me with my glasses on. Right now, I have no idea. I'm looking at the screen, but everything is blurry. So normally I keep my glasses on, but I just want to sit back and chill and just talk with you all. So physically, that is the one thing, you know, that I have to take care of and see what's going on. Because when I had my eyes checked a few years ago, the glasses that I was prescribed um, did absolutely nothing for me. I never even wore them. So I wound up, you know, messing around with readers. And you can comment down below if you have any suggestions, you know, as far as because my sister, she's a nurse. She just told me we were on a chat me, her, and my nephew, my nephew, his mom, my sister, we were on a chat and she was saying that that's probably 90% of what made my eyes go, you know, worse from buying readers and, you know, buying different strengths, using a different strength for this, different strength for that, instead of, you know, just going back to the eye doctor and getting um, exactly what I need. So I've been really battling that. Mentally, mentally, I have been in a better place. I, I still, I still deal with anxiety. I still deal with depression. I just try to handle it in a different way. I don't, definitely, don't reach for pills or anything. 
I don't have any. I don't mess with pills at all. Um, I've had a great year. I faced a lot of fears that I had this year, which was like crowds and, you know, doing a lot of driving and stuff, uh, which I still don't like to do a lot of driving. Um, but I did make it to a lot of festivals, which was something that was big for me because I totally just was not able to do crowds. You know, just being around a lot of people, I just always felt panicky or have a panic attack or have some type of anxiety or whatever. So this summer was nice. Me, my daughter, and my great nephew, we were able to get out and go to a lot of different places and do a lot of things, you know, during his stay this summer. And we continued on, me and my daughter. We got into um, dance together. And she also takes a, a youth uh, program at Ayodele, um, uh, dance and drums, or drums and dance. Um, and it's been beneficial for both of us. It's a good bonding experience. She's working out, I'm working out. I dance at home all day long. Whenever I can at the studio, I dance. I just try to keep it moving. Okay, so that's that's on a good note. You know, I've dropped a few sizes. I'm fitting back into some of my clothes, buying a whole lot of new clothes, feeling great about that. Now, on the spiritual part, spiritually, I would say this, the end of this year has been more trying for me than probably any other time of this year. Um, I've been tested over and over again through fake people, through um, people who supposedly cared about me or said that they loved me or whatever. And I'm not talking about relationships such as, you know, relations like that. I don't mean like that. I mean, just maybe family, maybe friends. Um, had a, a serious um, hack attack on my system, my entire computer's system, um, in which someone was able to get off into my entire computer system for business, for everything. And I'm still going through, that was November 24th, I'm still going through suffering the repercussions from that, which has caused me a great deal of strife. Um, spiritually, I've just been trying to stay grounded, trying to stay at peace, trying not to let anything or anyone knock me off of my path, which is just to continue to be the best person I could be, the best mother I could be, the best friend I could be, the best child I could be, best sibling I could be. You know, um, part of what is helping me is, you know, being in therapy, and, and I've been in therapy forever, been in therapy, I, there's nothing wrong with um, talking to somebody that is not connected to yourself, like as a family member or friend, somebody who's just going to, you know, give throw out ideas and stuff. And this is the first time in a while that I've actually had like a therapist that I can relate to and that I feel generally really cares. Me and my daughter, we have a very close bond and nobody can break. I'm happy for that. I'm happy for uh, little Lucky, who's over here sleeping now with his little Santa Claus outfit on. I thought he was going to try to jump in and be on a video. Most of you all who watch my videos know that he always jumps in on videos. So, oh, and here he comes. Come on, Lucky. Um, spiritually, I see where I need to grow. I've noticed, you know, where I need to grow. Yes, you know, I feel great about myself. I feel good, you know, about the nutrients and stuff I'm putting into my body. So physically, I'm doing much better. Mentally, I'm doing much better. Spiritually, I saw where I was a little shaky and, you know, just trying to stay on, walk, walk one straight line. It's just been a little difficult. It seems like every time I turn around, when I have good news, it's like negative news that follows right behind it. You know, so I try not to get too excited about great things that's happening because then I'm always thinking in the back of my mind that it's going to be some negativity that follows it. 
you know, I really want to um, thank um, a person that has a YouTube channel. Her name is Angel, Angel Jackson, um, Natural Nirvana. You may know her by it, but she changed her channel name. I like the path that where she's going, and I've watched her for a long time, and we have been communicating for a very long time. And I just really love the light that I see in her. And she's doing her channel her way, not to satisfy anyone else. I know a lot of people may have left her because she's on a spiritual path and she's not afraid to talk about it. She's not afraid to discuss what it is that she's doing. She combed out, you know, uh, her second set of, um, she says locks. I say dreadlocks. Everybody knows that. But I'm going to respect the fact that she calls her hair. Well, she had locks. And she combed them out. And now she feels better within herself. Talking to her over the phone. I, I heard like a serious peace within her. Um, she's a great person. I'm so glad to have her in my life. As well as many, many others that have come to my channel. You know, um, Sundays are just... I can't even name everybody that come in on Sundays. You all know who you are. Um... Bonafide, Sahara, Yapa, uh, so many other people, you know, a day. These are people that come on Sundays and they just drop like major information in my lap, you know, because I don't know everything. I can't sit back and talk about hair 24 7, but I don't know everything, you know, about health. And, you know, I learn things as I go, you know, and I learn things from, from other people. I'm not afraid to ask questions. So spiritually, I think that in 2019, I, I had really been trying to do a lot of things on my own without the help of anybody else. And, you know, in spite of the fact that I know that what you put out into the universe, you'll get back in your thoughts and all and your words and all that stuff have a lot of meaning behind it and are powerful. You know, I, I struggle. I really struggle hard. Because I'm trying to do everything again on my own. I don't know where next year is going to take me. I have no idea. Again, I'll be half a century. <laughs> and that's amazing. Because of all the things that I've encountered in life, all the things I've experienced. You know, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. I am not... Like, I'm not the type to sit back and say, oh, it's a new year, so this is going to be this and this is going to be that. No. Right now. Starting right now. You know, I'm not going to allow evil and wickedness to pull me down. I'm not going to fight this battle by myself. I'm going to figure out what it is that I really need to do. For me to be at peace, to have way more peace in my life, to enjoy my 50th year here on earth and more years and more years and more years to be healthy for my child physically, mentally and spiritually. Because right now she is the only being in my life that matters one million percent. The only physical being in my life that matters one million percent, you know. So, as you all know, I mean, as far as hair, I have that in order. I haven't had a problem with that. Um, I do have a little, <laughs> to end it off, I do have a little uh, separation up here in the front that wants to do its own thing, just like this used to be a little separated little piece that came out through the front and now it bonded in with that. This used to be like up here and now it's, now it's hitting my tattoo or past my tattoo. It's going down in my shirt now. So this little one decided it wants to pop out and do its own thing. So there it is. So it'll be sticking up in the next videos, you all. Thank you all for rocking with me. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for answering the questions that I may have. Thank you for, for telling me, yes, I understand where you're coming from. Thank you for the challenges that we have had as far as like doing our smoothie challenge and, you know, just doing healthy things together. Thank you all for contributing, you know, to me staying, sticking and staying with YouTube because there's been so many changes with it, you know. 
that if I really didn't care about the channel as much as I do, I probably would have stopped doing videos a while ago. Ten, ten years. Ten years. Um, found out March 11th is actually ten years. I think it is March 11th or March 13th. One of those days. So. Again, I said I wasn't going to keep you all long, and it's been 20 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end it now. I might, if I think about some other things, add them later. However, what I would like for you to do, share this video, like this video, or not like it, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. It's, it's two ways you could do it. If you didn't like it, feel free to thumbs down the video. Leave a comment, ask a question, uh, share it on your social media. It may help someone, you know. If you're going through things or if you're going through changes, how are you dealing with things? How has your 2019 been physically, mentally, and spiritually? You can connect with me through my links um, on Messenger, Facebook. You can DM me on Instagram. I have a lot of pictures up there. Um, I will be sharing more nutritional stuff next year. And this, and this year is not over yet, so I'll be giving you some tips and stuff about what to do um, when you're celebrating the holiday season. If if you do celebrate the holidays, you know, like when you're going to parties and stuff, if you're trying to stay on a on a on a path of um, putting good things into your body, I will tell you some of the things that you could do. I'll be putting out another video probably tomorrow, no doubt. Tomorrow, I'll be putting out another video talking about healthy things. So thank you for rocking with me, you all. Again, comment down below. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Make sure you share. Share on all your social media. I'm trying to go ahead and keep this channel going. At first, I thought I was going to let it go. Not let it go, go, but just focus on another channel I had. And then I was redirected. I was redirected. And I said, I'm going to keep doing this channel and even if I do decide to work on my other channel um, I'm always keep this channel because it is a channel that actually gives me a lot of enjoyment so with that being said I'll see you in the next video peace and love everyone subscribe if you haven't done so lucky you want to say something come here lucky say bye say bye Lucky in his little, his little Santa outfit. Got to keep the dog warm. And everybody that comes in on Sundays know that Lucky's in a lot of videos. All right. Peace and love you all.